Tesla has launched a number of disruptive products, none more so than their electric vehicles. But Tesla isn't really a car company. They're an energy storage company, and it just so happens that most of their batteries are on wheels. In addition to those mobile storage units, Tesla also offers the most popular stationary energy storage system on the market today, the Powerwall. The Tesla Powerwall is not the first commercially available energy storage system, but it is certainly the product that brought energy storage into the mainstream. In fact, Tesla's Powerwall is the most installed residential battery in the US. Here's a complete review of what you need to know about the Tesla Powerwall. The first Tesla Powerwall was released in 2015, with the Powerwall 2 coming just a couple of years later in 2017. Recently, Tesla introduced the Powerwall Plus, which includes an integrated inverter and system controller, but otherwise is very similar to the Powerwall 2. And it sounds like Tesla is on the verge of releasing a newer, more powerful Powerwall 3 sometime during 2023. The Powerwall 2 and Powerwall Plus each offer 13 and a half kilowatt hours of stored energy capacity and are rated to 5.8 and 7 kilowatts of continuous output respectively, which means that the Powerwall Plus can power more of your home at the same time than the Powerwall 2 can. The batteries are similar in size at just under three feet wide and a half foot deep, with the Powerwall Plus slightly taller because of the additional hardware. The Powerwall 2 is about four feet tall and the Powerwall Plus is over five feet tall. The Tesla Powerwall works by storing electricity to then use at a later point in time, either to avoid paying higher utility rates or to keep your home running in the event of an outage. When you pair a Powerwall with solar, when your solar panels produce more electricity than you need in any given hour, you can use your Powerwall to store that excess solar production instead of sending it to the grid, helping you to maximize the amount of solar you consume on site or helping you maximize your savings from solar if you don't have one-to-one -one net metering from your utility. The Powerwall has long been the standard bearer for residential batteries, setting the example that most other storage products have followed from a power output perspective and a stored capacity perspective. With the newest Powerwall 3, it looks like Tesla is set to push the industry standard forward again, with a higher power output and a larger capacity for storing energy. On Energy Sage, the average cost for a Powerwall 2 is about $17,000 and about $20,000 for a Powerwall Plus, which is very competitive with other battery options on the market. But don't worry, incentives can help to reduce the cost by at least 30% from the federal investment tax credit, and many states have local incentives too. If you're interested in comparing how the Powerwall stacks up, head to Energy Sage to get solar plus storage quotes for your home from pre-screened contractors in your area. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what other questions you have about all things home energy, and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos.